Mountain Dew. I've been living in Mexico for like eight or nine months now, since November. And this is literally the first time I've ever been able to find Mountain Dew in Mexico the whole time. I've been searching everywhere we go, La Comer's, the Soriana Hypers, Walmart. For some reason, Mexico just doesn't sound Mountain Dew. And I've just had this like weird obsession to have Mountain Dew ever since I've came here. It's like my favorite soda aside from Dr. Pepper. And I finally found it and I'm, I'm stoked. I'm hoping they resupply it because this is a spot we went to all the time and they usually only sold diet Mountain Dew. And I, I didn't understand why they would sell diet Mountain Dew, but they normally do. But they had a few packs of the 12 packs so I thought I'd buy some and just let y'all know. Mountain Dew, if you see me, buy me some fucking Mountain Dew. And now that that rant's over, let's get back to the show. Or the video, rather. The YouTube video about me, what I did. What's up, guys? So today we're actually going to Nixon Sushi. Nixon Sushi is a little sushi spot that's located right here at the marina in Cabo San Lucas. It's like located right on the corner. It's like a five minute ride from my house. If you're right there on Hotel Row, you just follow the marina all the way around and it'll take you right to the intro or the entrance to the spot. It's a nice little sushi spot. It's very clean, especially with how they have all their cooks, how they have their waiters separate and everything like that. The cooks are actually located in like their own little like glass bubble that you can watch them cook through if you want and make their sushi uh they also have an actual like sushi bar where if you want to talk to the sous chef you can uh while i was there i actually ended up getting the black tuna and white sashimi it was actually a really good uh meal I mean, it came with 10 pieces of like little tuna that you can eat and the flavor was just outstanding. Uh, it was a pretty good spot. It's about a 60 to 80 peso Uber ride, depending on where you are in the local downtown Cabo San area. Now, when you go to Nixon, be prepared to spend a little bit of extra money because this is a fish and sushi specialized spot and it's right off the harbor. So when you're actually looking at the menu, the items can be anywhere between like 200 pesos for like an appetizer or a salad anywhere from five to 800. If you're trying to get like a filet of fish or like lobster, that can obviously start racking you up a little bit more. Uh, they also do have a full bar, and the prices were pretty reasonable. It kind of depends on what you want. We ended up just getting two beers, and it was like 30 pesos each or something like that. And with his meal, we ended up getting this nice little like soupy broth type mixture that looked like it had a little bit of like seaweed in it. It had some tofu. I'm not a big tofu fan, but... It was in there. It was really good though, like the soup as a whole. Uh, and the full cost of our Nixon trip actually came out to 950 pesos, and that is that much right there in USD. And that is for all the items we got. That's the two drinks, the black and white, the black tuna and white sashimi, and what he had to order. We got done eating at Nixon's. We did end up walking down the boardwalk a little bit and going to this place called Cantina Mexico. It's located like right across the street from the Giggling Marlin. And it was a solid little spot. It had two little TVs in there for sports, had a nice open bar. All the prices were super cheap since it was just a bar and no food. It had a nice little like intricate pattern on the roof that was kind of cool and if you want to go inside the male bathroom they have something cool in there too for you to like look at all in all it's a spot i would recommend go to if you're you know getting hot and you need a beer or like a drink or something and then the last spot for the day was actually this place called bocana 
Seafood and Bar. It's located right across the street from the main arena of, the main entrance of the marina. And Lex and I ended up going there after we stopped by the Cantina Mexico and got a few drinks. And Lex ended up getting a nice little sushi roll. I'm pretty sure it was spicy tuna. And then I got three tacos de camarón, which is just like shrimp tacos. And I don't know about his food, but my food wasn't that good. I would much rather go to the spot in the previous video, Taco Gus, because it's going to be cheaper. And I think the food had a little bit better flavor to it than this spot did. It wasn't bad, but I feel like you're paying a lot for the location and the location's like okay you just kind of get a view of the main street and like the entrance to the marina where the boats go in and out and the food was about average you could probably find something more tasteful for about the same price anywhere here in cabo hard this shit was to find in Mexico, they don't sell Mountain Dew anywhere. I've been looking for like four months. Cheers. Cheers to Mountain Dew.